Hi guys, Jan from Paisa Design. It has been over 30 years since Lamborghini brought us their interpretation of a luxurious and dynamic SUV. In the year 2012, on the Beijing Auto Show, Lamborghini presented us a potential successor of the legendary LM002 from 1986. They called it the Urus. Now, five years later, we are finally a couple of months away from production. Lambo tried unsuccessfully to hide the prototypes from us, but not this time. This is a comparison between the concept car and the upcoming production model. So I will just go through some points, um, especially here um, we are talking yeah, about minor details. In general the car feels almost exactly like the concept car from Beijing. Some minor uh, differences. I will highlight the front for a second. So what you can see here is clearly that the air intakes are quite different to the concept car. On the production model you can clearly see that the front air intakes are quite different to the concept car. There are different reasons for this. One reason, of course, is safety regulations, if you're talking about pedestrian uh, safety and all of that. But also if you're talking about, yeah, if you go off-road with the car, less dirt, less mud. Um, so I think this is also one of those reasons. And also what you can see quite nicely here is that the radar in the front um, sits yeah, just below the Lamborghini logo. Unfortunately, in the concept car, there is actually no space to do that. The headlights are quite different. It seems like the headlights are much longer, much bigger and have a different layout within them. I mean, of course, the renders are not 100% correct. We will see how the production version will look like until the production model will be revealed to see the details, but I think you get the idea. The rear mirrors in the concept car are just like little cameras on the doors and on the production version you have the regular mirrors. Actually they look quite similar to the ones from the Audi Q7. I mean it's one family, maybe they share some parts. What's also uh, quite nice is that in general the shape of the car is quite the same. We will just realize the differences if you have them next to each other like here, but I think this is something that will rarely happen. The roof line is really really low, it looks like a coupe. Actually the back doors are almost invisible, but yeah, because of the handles that they added into the production version, you can quite clearly see that there is another door in the back. I really like the design um, of the concept car. I think um, it looks nice and you can quite clearly see where the inspiration for the Huracan came from. On the production version we have to see how it looks in real life, but for now I really like it. Lamborghini is more successful than ever, but their product range is quite small. So what do you think? Should Lamborghini also consider a sedan? Write it in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe for more cars of the future. I'm Jan, this is Paiso Design, see you in the next one. Bye!